Welcome back. My name is Amar, and today we're going to talk about a new change the IRS has made on the SECURE Act uh, ruling. So, if you remember in the SECURE Act, if you inherited an IRA and you were a non-spousal beneficiary, you had 10 years to take distributions. At the beginning, they didn't clarify when you were supposed to take those distributions. So, the assumption was you could take it at any point. In February of this year, they said that you have to take at least the required minimum distributions from year one through nine, and then fully distribute in, in year 10. And this this whole process has caused a lot of confusion. And what happened this last Friday, so October 7th, is the IRS came out with a memo and they said, if you did not take your required uh, minimum distribution as a beneficiary of an inherited IRA, and remember there's a 50% penalty normally, uh, the IRS is waiving that penalty for calendar year 2021 and 2022. So again, the IRS has made this way more complicated than it needs to be. And uh, now they're going back because, you know, they're backlogged with mail and they're just making a blanket statement. I think there's like almost a quarter. Uh, and, and there's a lot of people uh, affected by this. But the ruling that they put out was essentially... If you inherited an IRA from somebody that passed away after 2020, so 2020, 2021, 2022, and the following year you're supposed to take your first distribution by April 1st and you did not do that, they're waiving the 50% penalty. If you have questions or if this applies to you and you have uh, a specific scenario that you'd like to review, please reach out to us. Happy to help. You can find all of our contact information on our website, which is clientfirstcap.com. And thank you for watching.